Bill Browder says Europe may be looking at one trillion dollars in dirty money. Now, Browder this week filed a criminal complaint against Swedbank, alleging that the bank handled $176 million connected to the death of Browder's lawyer, Sergei Magnitsky. I started by asking him a little earlier how far the laundering scandal that has encompassed a number of European banks already could go. Our investigation continues to lead to new evidence and new information and new suspicious transactions. And as long as it does, we will take that evidence and follow the evidence where it leads. And when we find money and we find money laundering, um, we will make complaints to the law enforcement agencies of the country where we find it. Is there another institution out there that could face something along the scale of what we've seen at Danske Bank? I think it's entirely possible. So if you, if you look at this, just the numbers that I quoted, um, there, there, we've seen $234 billion flow through Dansky Bank's Estonian branch. But that's only one quarter of the estimated flight capital. And, and I should also point out that of that $234 billion, it didn't stop at Dansky Bank's Estonian branch. It went through other banks all the way out until it hits what I call sort of the receiver countries, the countries where people actually spend the money on real estate and buy yachts and private planes and all that kind of stuff. And, and what is interesting about that, you, you kind of, you, you've, you've gone from relatively small numbers when you file your investigations. Take a, Swedbank is an obvious kind of one to talk about here. There is a huge multiplier effect here. So, so kind of walk me through how that works. So I think the Dansky Bank is the best example. So in 2013, we, we identified um, $200 million of illicit um, uh, suspicious transactions going through Dansky Bank. We filed complaints with the Danish regulator, Danish law enforcement, and with the um, Estonian law enforcement. The Danes refused to open any case. Estonia opened a case and then closed it. And, um, and so we ended up uh, working together with a uh, major newspaper in Denmark called Berlinski with, the t with our allegations of 200 million. They then did their own investigation with other data and our data, and they determined that the size of the problem was not 200 million, but 9 billion. The article that they wrote um, was the most read article in the history of Denmark. And off the back of that, Dansky Bank was obliged to do a, a, their own internal investigation, or I should say external investigation. They brought in outside lawyers to look at the whole situation. And they said, no, it's not $9 billion, it's $234 billion. So what started with a $200 million problem, when you start pulling on that string, and it ended up at a $234 billion problem. And you see that now working with some of the other institutions you potentially named as well. I, can, you, can, you, can you scale up in, in every institution in a similar sort of way? I, I think, I think you, you, you don't want to start extrapolating yep. because you just don't know. All I can say, you know, with, with the Swedbank complaint, all I can say is that um, there is $176 million of, of, of transactions that we deem to be suspicious connected to the case, the Magnitsky case. That's all I can say. I can't extrapolate from there, um, but I think it's the duty of the bank, of, of Swedbank, um, to do what Dansky Bank did, which is to get an external investigation, get it done quickly, so all interested parties can then look at the situation and say, what's the, how big is the problem? But, but your sense is that this is not, this, this appeared to, to start off with a, with a Nordic problem but it's now morphing into something that, that is larger. You talk about kind of tracking the money through to its ultimate destination. I, where do you, I, when you look at countries around Europe, where do you see the bulk of that, that kind of ultimate destination money being? Well, I, I see it going to the places where people want to spend it. I mean, here, here in the UK is one of the um, prime examples. This is a country where that money ends up as a destination country. And, and, and most upsetting for me is that the law enforcement agencies here um, even after I filed five complaints, have refused to investigate. And so, it, so it goes to uh, how far down the road does it go? Does it go? So it goes all the way to individuals. It goes to individuals. It goes to companies formed by individuals, and it goes to purchase real estate, uh, private jets, yachts, big bank accounts, etc. Bill Browder of Hermitage Capital talking to me a little bit earlier on. Now, in response to those allegations, Swedbank has said, quote, we have, as far as we know, not yet been able to see the notifications, content or details. Therefore, we have difficulty in giving a comment 
on this. In all of the cases when authorities start investigations, we always cooperate fully uh, and we see uh, positive, positively uh, on all investigations. Uh, Raffheisen has said it's started an investigation into the matter 